Hi, it's Carrie. In this 5-Minute Friday, I wanted to go over some guidance and documentation regarding a librarian or information specialist on an evidence synthesis team. So I have a couple of videos coming up about how a librarian might do an evidence synthesis search, what a librarian probably can't do for an evidence synthesis team, but I'd really like to address their role on the review team and what the existing guidance says about having a librarian. The first thing I want to show you is the Cochrane Handbook for Systematic Reviews of Interventions. The Cochrane Handbook, as it is usually known, is really well known in evidence synthesis circles, and it is really excellent for anybody doing a systematic review, not just people who are doing Cochrane reviews. So anybody can use this as guidance for conducting and even reporting. Now the part that talks about librarians on the team is here in chapter four, searching and selecting studies. If we click on that, we will see that the very first bullet point is that review authors should work closely from the start of the protocol with an experienced medical health care librarian or information specialist. Now, if you scroll down the page, it talks about what those librarians and information specialists can assist with, from advising authors on which databases and other sources to search, designing or providing guidance on designing search strategies for the main bibliographic databases and or trial registers, running searches in databases or registers available to the information specialist, saving and collating search results and sharing them with authors in appropriate formats, advising authors on how to run searches in other sources, how to download results, drafting or assisting in drafting the search methods of the protocol and review and or update, ensuring that the protocol reviews and updates meet the requirements set out by the methodological expectations of Cochrane Intervention Reviews, also another great resource that can be used by anybody regardless of whether they're doing a Cochrane review or not, organizing translations or data extraction of study reports where required to enable authors to assess these reports for inclusion and exclusion, obtaining copies of trial reports for the review teams, providing advice and support to author teams on the use of reference management tools and other software used in the review production, including production tools such as RevMan, Covidence and Epi Reviewer, those are just a few tools for screening and systematic review workflows, and checking and formatting the references to be included or excluded in line with the, I will say, the journal or the publisher's style manual. So these are some of the things that information specialists or librarians can assist with. This whole chapter is great. It talks about designing search strategies it provides guidance and support to the librarian and information specialist as well. The next one is the JBI Evidence Synthesis Manual, and they also talk about having a librarian on the team. So the second bullet point right here is talking about the team members, one of which should be an information scientist or research librarian with specialized skills to develop and implement a comprehensive search strategy, as well as other specialists on your multidisciplinary systematic review team. The third resource is from the National Academies. It's called Finding What Works in Healthcare, Standards for Systematic Reviews. And if we look down here, we see Establishing the Review Team. And if we click on that, we see a lot about having a multidisciplinary review team, and it says the review team should be capable of defining the clinical question and performing the technical aspects of the review. It should be multidisciplinary with experts in systematic review methodology, librarians or information specialists trained in searching bibliographic databases for systematic reviews, and so on and so forth. So that's a great one. There's a lot here. This is just part of it.
So if you go back, there's this whole table of contents that addresses almost every part of a systematic review. And then the last one I wanted to show you was an article by my librarian peers, Angela Spencer and Jonathan Eldridge. And it's available as a full text from PMC PubMed Central. And they've done a scoping review of roles for librarians and systematic review teams. So they talk about their scoping review. I'm just going to go down. They talk about their search strategy. And then they kind of outline those different roles that they found. So a librarian might be involved in citation management, collaboration, deduplication of results, evaluation of search strategies, formalized systematic review services that would be designing, implementing, and conducting the searches. They have knowledge about indexing of database terms. They can perform peer review of search strategies planning the systematic review, so identifying the research question, deciding if it's appropriate for a systematic review methodology, question formulation, reporting and documentation, research agenda, search filters and hedges, searching, and more. So this is an excellent article, and I hope this video gave you just a little bit of clarification of where a librarian might fit onto your systematic review team. We have a lot of expertise in formalized bibliographic database searching, in systematic review tools, information organization, and search methodology. If you're working with a systematic review librarian or a searching librarian, you're a lucky, lucky person. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.